All BladeBridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by BladeBridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of BladeBridge Converter. In today's session, I'll demonstrate how to convert Redshift store procedures into Databricks. I will be using this file as an example. It contains a body of a store procedure, taking several parameters, uh, several variable declarations, a DML statement, an example of dynamic SQL statement, and several conditional statements. The converter I'll be using is called SQLConv. It's a command line utility, just like all the other utilities that BladeBridge provides. The converter can run on Windows and Linux platforms. It expects several parameters, the license key file, either a single input SQL file or a folder containing multiple files and subfolders, the output folder path, and the configuration file. As a general rule, all of our converters expect to take configuration file path on the command line. The configuration file contains instructions on how to convert source code into a target code. And since these instructions are externalized, you as the operator of the converter will have a control of what kind of output the converter will produce. My full command line is here. We're providing the license key file, the input file with the code, the output folder, and the configuration file name. My output folder is currently empty, so I'm going to go ahead and run the converter. And the converter will produce a .py file containing the translation of the original store procedure. I'll go ahead and open this up and line up both the original file and the converted file side by side. The converter converted the code into a Python function, and this is one of the settings, one of the modes that the converter supports. Another mode of translation would be converting the store procedure into Databricks notebook. The way the converter performed the translation is as follows. The parameters of the store procedure got converted into parameters to the function. There are variable declarations that got translated into variable declarations in the Python code. Uh, the converter encountered the merge statement, and it translated that into this block. Basically, it wrapped that merge statement into spark.sql call, but it also changed certain function calls. So, for example, to char function got converted into date format, and the trunk function got converted to date trunk function with a change of the signature. One argument was plugged in. The next block is assignment of, of SQL statement to a variable and then executing that variable. So the converter converted that into these two statements. The assignment and then using Spart SQL head call to get the first column of the first row into a variable. Next, the converter encountered a series of if-else statements. Some of them are nested calls. So the converter converted them to Python equivalents with the correct Python syntax. And then at the end of the procedure, there's a simple while loop that the converter converted into this format. Now, how does the converter know how to perform the conversion. The majority of the logic is externalized in the configuration files. If we look at the main configuration file, you will find several sections in here, some of them dealing with simple regex substitutions, but some of them dealing with something more complex. One of the features that the converter has is the ability to create external hooks, which are basically snippets of code that can deal with customized translations. So when it comes to translating elements such as flow control, which includes conditional statements or the loops, the converter will resort to using those custom snippets that will handle the translation correctly between the source code and the resulting target code. Converter configuration files typically have a section called function substitution. And this section deals with adjusting function calls to what the target technology accepts. For example, we have the original call to char. We have a check of how many arguments we have and the pattern of each argument. 
followed by the appropriate output pattern. In my example of translating the, the trunk function call, I have the converter check the total number of arguments passed to trunk call. And if that condition holds true, the converter will use this output template to construct this output pattern, which is date underscore trunk, the unit, and then the original argument. Now, the arguments do not need to be just single tokens. They can be represented as complex expressions or nested function calls. The converter will still parse them out and will construct the appropriate output template. And just to recap, in this session, I demonstrated how to convert a Redshift store procedure into a Databricks Python function. The converter I used was BladeBridge's SQL Conf executable, which takes in the license key file, the input file that we want to convert, the output folder, and, and the configuration file which is very important because it contains instructions on how to perform the conversion. And this concludes our session. Thank you for listening in.